Back here domestically, it's a critical week in the prosecution's investigation of former President Lee Myung Bak. The conservative ex leader faces numerous charges related to corruption, and evidence is reportedly piling up. He's been summoned by prosecutors for questioning for the first time. That's going to start Wednesday morning. Lee Sung Jae reports. With five months of intense investigations under their belt, the Seoul Central District Prosecutor's Office has subpoenaed former President Lee Myung Bak to appear at the office on Wednesday for interrogation as a suspect. The 76 year old is facing nearly 20 charges, including violation of law on the management of presidential records and violations related to election law. E is suspected of receiving some 10.3 million U.S. dollars in illegal funds from the state intelligence agency, individuals, and businesses, including Korea's largest conglomerate, Samsung. Under the act of aggravated punishment of specific crimes, anyone found guilty of receiving bribes in excess of $90,000 can face at least 10 years behind bars. The former president says he was not aware of any money transfers, and he has labeled the prosecution's probe as an act of political revenge by the Moon Jae-in administration. Investigators have also unearthed evidence that Yi is the real owner of DAS, a corruption-ridden car parts manufacturer with the prosecution set to ask him about irregularities in the company's accounts, including slush funds, totaling more than $28 million. Prosecutors believe a significant portion of these secret funds were used to finance E's presidential campaign in 2007. Prosecutors are also likely to grill E over presidential records, which were found in storage at DAS offices and not at the National Archives as required by law, and allegations he evaded tax, by holding property and savings under borrowed names. With a long list of charges and allegations, the nation awaits the results of the questioning, which gets underway on Wednesday morning, but could continue deep into the night. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.